Hi everyone, I'm Yifan Shong, a research software engineer from Microsoft. I will talk with my colleague Rafael Salas about Tuto, the MOE stack optimization for modern distributed chaining. This short talk has four parts. First, we will introduce background for MOE. In the second part, we will talk about detailed optimization approaches applied in Tuto. Next, we will show some evaluation results and summarize this talk. Let's get started by introducing what is MOE, the mixture of experts. It is a kind of new mechanism which is widely used for scaling large models. And currently, the only demonstrated way to scale models with trillions parameters. In the system perspective, it looks like a router that can manage how to dispatch data into different devices. This special mechanism can spend reasonable communication to handle trillions of parameters. Currently, file sequence has an MOE implementation in PyTorch, but its efficiency may be not high in large scale. Tuto aims to provide an optimized MOE implementation. It deeply optimizes Many MOE logics from critical paths not only shortens the MOE computation stages, but also improves the resource utilization on GPU. These optimizations can be categorized into four directions. We will introduce them one by one. The first is algorithm optimization. Standard MOE computation is very sparse. It uses GEM operators for dense computation, which contains many redundant computations. What we have done for Tuto is we unlock the magic of how MOE sparsely access each data item and further design corresponding sparse operators to make compute both memory and time saving. In addition, the sparse operators also have lower time complexity. So Tuto's speed up ratio is quite significant comparing to FailSeq which is eight times faster. The second technique is about layer optimization. In FailSeq MOE, if some models use multiple experts per GPU, the occupancy of GPU keeps decreasing when scaling out, which is not good. The main root cause is if one GPU handles multiple experts, the computation layout keeps changing and it is unfriendly to utilize GPU which results in worse efficiency. To overcome this issue, Tuto uses Express Fusion, which is based on not only tensor fusion, but also layout repermutation. The new layout will become stable and no longer changes when scaling out. The speed, the speed up ratio will be increasing with the number of experts per device. Then the third one is for kernel optimization which is a common approach to further excavate MOE performance. We profile some low efficient kernels in MOE critical paths and re-implement these kernels. For example, Kamsom is a typical slow operator. Tuto re-implements this kernel using a logon-based method. It contributes more than 24 times speed up comparing to original. These three optimizations are for computation on single GPU. My colleague uh, Raphael will talk about optimization on networking next. Uh, thank you for that. Uh, so the uh, last approach is about uh, network op optimization uh, to improve uh, all to all efficiency. So uh, all to all is a collective uh, communication primitive uh, that's heavily used in uh, MOE. Uh, and it has the potential to uh, be the bottleneck uh, when uh, scaling uh, MOE to thousands of GPUs. Uh, so uh, how we mitigate that slash avoid that is um, by having Tootle uh, leverage CPU to GPU binding, uh, which uh, minimizes any latency uh, between the data paths between CPU to GPU, uh, and also uh, having uh, Tootle leverage adaptive routing, um, which uh, improves uh, all to all middle message uh, size uh, data transfer uh, at large scale. Uh, and so uh, with that, uh, we see in uh, 
five times speed up uh, when uh, compared to the uh, original method. And that can be seen um, on uh, this slide in, in the plot uh, for all to all. And uh, so uh, with the three uh, optimizations that if and mentioned and uh, the one that I mentioned, uh, that that's the four directions uh, that we've applied with with Tootle. And so uh, now we we discuss the you know Tootle's ease of use. And so uh, Tootle is open source. Uh, you can uh, get it on on GitHub with with this uh, link to the Tootle repository. And uh, like mentioned, uh, it, it's easy to use. It's as easy as uh, importing the Tootle MOE package and uh, just creating the MOE layer. And so we, we provided an example for reference uh, on this slide to the right. Um, but additionally, um, we're working on integrating this with uh, Facebook's um, PyTorch FairSec implementation. Uh, so we uh, intend on also uh, letting FairSec benefit from those four optimizations that, that we've created. And so um, Next, uh, we'll get into uh, the, the evaluation part, which is the exciting uh, part. Uh, and so uh, what we did was we evaluated uh, Tootle uh, against a, you know, FairSec uh, performance as a reference uh, when, um, <clears throat> when using the uh, MOE-based GPT-3 uh, model with uh, 1.1 trillion uh, parameters. Uh, and so we, we've scaled up uh, Tootle uh, across uh, 64 uh, Azure NDB4 uh, nodes, uh, which is equivalent to 512 A100 uh, GPUs. Uh, and um, the settings for uh, the model can uh, be seen in the bottom left here. Uh, but the uh, results uh, are to the uh, right on the top right uh, plot. And uh, we've achieved an overall end-to-end uh, -end speed up of 40%. Uh, but on top of that, um, which is uh, really cool is that uh, we've also uh, verified that you know we're also seeing more uh, GPU utilization on uh, Tootle versus uh, the the FairSec implementations in in terms of TFLOPs. Uh, so uh, overall uh, GPU utilization uh, w went up. So uh, that that's really uh, awesome and promising. Um, uh, you know things that we're seeing there, and so. Um, Next, uh, you know, we'll, I want to just cover a summary of, of our presentation and things that you should take away from it. You know, uh, we talked about how Tootle was a highly optimized mixture of experts implementation in PyTorch and how um, we saw that 40% speed up, you know, that we presented in that uh, previous slide over that 64 uh, node scale uh, when comparing uh, to, to FairSec implementation. And um, Second, we want to speak about you know that that ease of use uh, you know uh, that that we see with Tootle and uh, how it's open source on GitHub. Um, it's been integrated with Microsoft's DeepSpeed and how we're currently uh, integrating it with um, FairSec to add those optimizations. And then finally, I just want to touch on um, MOE being you know a popular and, and promising uh, you know thing, uh, but there's a lot lot of potential for, for exploration there. So um, we welcome um, any improvements that are uh, that the uh, community can bring to to our project. And so, um, you know, thanks for, uh, you know, listening to our talk. And so with that, uh, we just uh, both want to say uh, thank you. Thank you.